Hi. <laughs> Let's see what's going to be happening. Mm. Well, yes, what's going to be happening. Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying to, to say that I'm finding it interesting uh, by myself. I'm hearing myself say this, right? Like, I find it interesting that I would be saying, let's see what's happening, the Hierophant, because uh, I really do see, especially tarot, it's not just a form of divination. Once you, like, really start getting into the energy, like, correlation, everything, like, it's a form of manifestation as well. That's why, uh, yeah, so be careful of what you say. I mean, even hearing, like, actually what you what you speak into your own life, but also into others' lives. <laughs> uh -huh. With great power comes great responsibility, right? So the high priestess reverse. <laughs> um, I think that's about to be revealed. Maybe even some kind of, like, um, ooh, you know what? I just heard, this is an interesting energy, like a false red flag. Um, also because of, like, the boot, like a false fart, two of cups. <laughs> The Hermit reverse. Interesting. Both the High Priestess and the Hermit uh, is reversed. And the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is like really looking at everything. One, two, three. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords reverse. Temperance. Ah, Ace of Wands. King of Cups. The Empress reverse. The Hangman. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Um... What am I feeling? This is like a very, uh, very intense energy. And I feel very like conscious about myself. So I feel like what's happening collective is like, there's a very big, like I'm hearing understanding, understanding about like truly your energy here. Um, this two of cups is, is like when I said, like, I'm telling myself something. I again was thinking of like my future self or like my highest self or like my God self or whatever. Uh, this is what I'm feeling here. I feel like you're about to like be um, revealed another layer of your God self to yourself. Like, yeah. And quite honestly, I feel like, I feel like it's because you're not afraid of your own darkness. You're not afraid of your own power. You're not afraid of taking control uh, where you need to, energetic control anymore. Like you really fell in love with yourself, right? And you've been actively like doing this. Uh, you've been actively like uh, trying to give yourself exactly what you need. And this is leading to some kind of like higher uh, I don't even want to say higher ground, but like the Hierophant, like Mount Olympus again, you know. Um, I'm hearing Elysium, I'm hearing Titan, I don't know why. But like just a, a, a much more, instead of a much more spiritual um, level, this is going to be a much more authoritatively ethereal level or something like that, okay? So what does this mean for you? Uh, what does this mean for us? I'm being drawn again to like the, the yin yang and then the alpha and the omega. So like, it's not just the left brain, it's the right brain as well. It's not just uh, the light, it's the dark. It's not, you know, like, I feel like you really coming to terms with that, especially in regards to your own self, is giving you this almost like authority over your own reality because like, like you, you, you are starting to set the laws because of your energy. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, truly though, <laughs> Like, how else can I say this? Um, I feel like that's efficient in regards to that. Like, what you, what you write goes, you know, what you say goes, because it's now your um, creation, like, done and dusted. I feel like that's sufficient. That was really quick. Thank you so much, Collective. That was your reading. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one. So I don't blame you.